Hi everyone and welcome to the session in which I am talking to you about a, a situation I faced in CAT 17. And uh, this uh, question that I am picking up in today's uh, session is a question that uh, has a lot of learning for us in terms of what kind of uh, questions are asked in the CAT and what they want you to be able to do inside the CAT. And as I always tell people that uh, and, and all my students and everybody who cares to listen to me that uh, inside the CAD, when you're talking about problem solving in the CAD, there are times when you need to actually speed up. And having that seventh gear becomes important. So this is the question I faced. The question uh, that was asked in CAD 70 was that it was given that x squared is equal to x plus 1. And then they asked us to find the value of 2x raised to 4. Now as you can recognize, this is a normal quadratic equation. But there are a couple of problems when you, if you try to solve it mathematically, uh, normally. So if, for example, if you, if you go through with this quadratic equation, you will get the equation x squared minus x minus 1 equal to 0. And you can solve this with the quadratic formula of minus b plus minus under root b squared minus 4ac upon 2a. But if you do that, what happens? Since a is 1 here, b is minus 1 and c is minus 1, the value of the roots, as you can check yourself, will turn out to be 1 plus minus root 5 by 2. And that's the problem in this question, that once you get this as the value of x from this quality equation, you have to find the value of 2x as to 4 which means that you need to raise this to the power 4 to get the value of x to 4 and then multiply it by 2 which is going to be quite complicated not to talk about the time you would have taken to get to this point by itself so if you are facing this question in the CAD and you have a minute to solve you are kind of a uh, it's, it's either a go or no, no go decision either you go through this and if you try to go through this one one and a half minutes is the rated time to get to this point and you're still far away from the answer and that's where uh, or that's where I want to show you a different approach to this question and I got this answer when I was doing this uh, question the cat in around 30-40 seconds and the options uh, in this question uh, were something like this the first option was 6 plus 4 root 5 3 plus 5 root 5 5 plus 3 root 5 and 7 plus 3 root 5. These were the four options given in this question. And when I looked at these options, it was quite clear that this is not the route to go through because even if you get this uh, result for the value of x, if you try to raise it to the power 4, you can imagine as well as I can and maybe better that getting this simplified to something like this is going to take a very long mathematical process. And clearly outside the domains of aptitude. So what was the reactions that got me this answer in 30 seconds? Let me show you that. So the first thing I did was instead of reading this like a quality equation, I read this in logical language. And when I did that, this equation was telling me that x is a number, now listen carefully, x is a number which if you square it increases by 1. x is a number which if squared increases by 1. So when I start thinking about that, I realize that numbers like 1 squared is 1 itself, there is no change in the value. But if I go to 2 and square it, the value goes to 4, which means there is an increase of 2 in the value of, the, of x squared from x. Which means quite clearly, if I look at this in plain logical language and apply my understanding of numericals and numbers that I know, I clearly see that x has to be somewhere between 1 to 2. And when I see that, I start experimenting with my squares starting at let's say 1.5 square I know is 2.25. If I look at the relationship between x and x square here, there is a growth of 0.75. This equation is telling me that the growth is 1 when you square the number. So if I keep scanning 15 square, 16 square 256, so 1.6 square 2.56, I see a growth of 0.96 here from x to x squared. 
and if I go to 1.7 square, that's 2.89 and that growth is too large, large because now the growth is 1.19. So it's quite visible and this can be done in maybe 5 to 10 seconds. That the value of x, x here, which will satisfy this equation, will be around 1.6, maybe 1.61 because 1.7 is too far out. So we would go with the value of around 1.61 for x and we'll realize that, that in that case x square will be 2.61 and that's the 10 second point in solving this question now once you get that that x is 1.61 and x square is 2.61 to evaluate x is to 4 you need to do 2.61 into 2.61 and since we know 26 square is 676 2.6 square will be 6.76 so give or take a little bit more so 2.61 square will end up at 6.8 so an approximate value of x raised to 4 is 6.8 into 2 so the value I'm looking for is 13.6 for 2x raised to 4 to this if we add the knowledge of what root 5 has as a number we know that root 5 is 2.21 we should know that in a different video I'll tell you if you don't know that how to calculate it but if you try 2.21 and your target value is 13.6 and these are the actual CAD options, the first option gets removed very easily because you can clearly see that 6 plus 4 root 5, 4 into 2 will give you a number more than 14 here. So this option is rejected. If you look at the second option, 3 plus 5 into 2.2 is going to give you 11 plus 3, 14 which is again more than 13.6. Crossing 14, we don't need to cross 14. The third option 5 plus 3 root 5 where root 5 is 2.2 will give you 6.6 .6, so that gives you 11.6 which is too small. So all the first three options get rejected and if you look at the fourth option it actually gives you a dot answer because if you try 3 into 2.2 even if you try 3 into 2.21 it's 6.6 .6 plus 7 13.6 which is almost exactly what value you needed and you are out of this question in around 30 to 35 seconds. So this kind of problem solving is something which is very very critical inside the CAT. They will give you situations which are which will look completely mathematical but there is a completely numerical logical way to do it. More about this in my upcoming videos. I hope you enjoyed watching this and I hope you enjoyed learning from this. Thanks a lot. Leave your comments for me on this video and do subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.